Hey everybody, my name is Matt, and I am always excited about new clean shot updates, but I'm doubly excited about today's release because it brings a new feature that I'm going to use literally every single day to make the screenshots I share on social media, on my blog, at work. It's gonna make all of them even better. And the feature is called Background Tool, and the best way to explain it is really just to show you it in action. So let's do a quick demo. So let's pretend I need to share this testimonial from our website on social media. So I'm gonna start by just taking a screenshot, right? No big deal here. And I'm going to bring up the annotation tool and I can mark it up like normal. I can do whatever I'd like to it. But at the end of the day, it's just a plain white screenshot that's not gonna really pop on a social media feed. So let's see how we can make this better in CleanShot version 4.5. There's a new button up here called Add Background. You can click it or use a keyboard shortcut B to bring it up. And now we have all of these tools to add um, some style to it. We can add a background. Uh, there's 10 gradients that are built in that look really nice. Our, some are bright, some are dark, different colors. Uh, hopefully one of these will work for you. If it doesn't, you can select a transparent background, solid colors. You can use the color picker to pick any single color, any specific hex value you want. All that works great. You can use your current wallpaper, a blurred version of that wallpaper, a blurred version of the screenshot itself. Um, and if none of these work for you, you can also just drag in your own images and use those as your background. Or you can hit the plus button to choose it from anywhere in your file system. And now you have your own images as backgrounds. For this demo, I'm gonna use this guy, or let's go ahead and just use this one. I think this one looks really nice. So this is the background we're gonna use, but we wanna tweak this a little bit more. So you can change a bunch of settings down here for just fine tuning it for your exact needs. Now, the biggest issue I see with this image is the balance. Like I just did not align the screenshot well to begin with. So let's start by hitting auto balance. So that's gonna take your screenshot and try to center it perfectly with equal margins on the right and left and top and bottom. Now this is a little tight, so we're gonna use the inset tool to add a little bit of more space in there, a little bit of margin. There we go, or a little bit of padding, I should say. And then we have the padding tool, which is specifically for the background. So how much of the background do you want to expand beyond the screenshot? Uh, we'll say something like this. And then the shadow is just how much shadow underneath the screenshot do you want? And then how rounded do you want the corner? So you can go super rounded, totally squared off, or something in the middle. So we'll go kind of right about there. Now I do know that I'm sharing this to social media and those tend to like 16 by nine images. So instead of auto, I can choose between a square image, a four by three, three by two, or 16 by nine horizontal or vertical. We use horizontal. So there we go. So we have one at exactly the right aspect ratio. If I start tweaking these again, everything will stay 16 by nine the whole way. Uh, so I won't be able to make it not 16 by nine, which is great. Um, it'll just lock into that. Um, I can also do things with alignment. So like, let's say I wanted to kind of bump this to the top and then put text down here I could do that um, I could you know pop it to any one of the kind of nine corners of the uh, of the image I'm just gonna leave it in the middle because I think that's gonna work for this demo but you can do that and yeah uh, again at any point you can change the background to one of these other ones maybe we'll go with this blue one actually we'll go with this blue background um, but yeah let's say this is perfect this is what I want um, I can still annotate right so I can still go ahead we'll get this we'll just make an arrow so all of your annotation tools still work this is all part of the screenshot and when you're done you can see it updates in the overlay uh, and we can just save it to our desktop and this screenshot is so much better than what we would have shared which was just kind of this missile aligned, uh, just white background, nothing special. Like this pops a whole lot more. And that's the power of this new background tool in letting you do that all within CleanShot. So the background tool is definitely the biggest feature update in this release, but there's a couple other things we think you'll appreciate as well. The first being an improvement to how cropping works. So if I took a screenshot of this text right here, uh, you can see there's some stuff around it, so I can't get a ton of padding around. Um, if I go ahead and go into the annotation tool and go to crop, I can actually expand this quite a bit as far as I want, and it's going to recognize the background color and expand that as far as I need it to. So that black background is going to continue to infinity uh, when I'm expanding my crop on the image so that I can get this screenshot, even though on the web that would technically just not be possible. It's just not possible with the other things that are on the page. So that's a really cool feature in this update. We've also made some improvements to capture history, which rolled out recently. So you can access that from either this menu or a keyboard shortcut. 
and it's a history of all of your screenshots and screen captures. So the first update is a filter at the top, so you can look at all of them at once, or you can filter to just your screenshots, just your videos, or just your GIFs. Um, and then you can also delete things from here. So for whatever reason, I don't want this one here anymore. I can just hover over it and hit backspace and it's gone. Um, and so that's going to be a nice little update to just get rid of those screenshots you don't necessarily want to have in your history anymore. And since the beginning, we've had this restore ability where you can just click on an image to restore it to the overlay. But now you can actually restore multiple at a time, as many as you'd like, and this won't go away until you click outside it or hit escape. And so now you have all of these over here that you can go ahead and mark up again, you can trim, whatever you need to do, it's gonna let you do bulk operations a lot easier. And finally, when you upload a video to CleanShot Cloud, Depending on the size of the video, it may need to transcode for a few seconds after uploading before someone can actually watch it. And now if you get the link and immediately go to it, you'll be able to see a progress bar of how far along the transcoding is. So you know how long it is until it'll be complete and you can share the link with someone to watch immediately. This release has a bunch of other small improvements and fixes in it. So check out the full release notes to see everything that's new. And thank you so much for watching.